Hello friends, welcome to Rajas Data Engineering. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the interview question. That is, what is the difference between distinct and drop duplicate? While developing solution in Databricks environment, often we are dealing with duplicate records. And there are uh, certain scenarios where we have to eliminate duplicate records. So the function distinct and drop duplicate both are used to remove the duplicate records out of a data frame. But still, you know, there are some differences. What is that uh, difference and uh, for which scenario we can go with which function? That is what I am going to cover in today's video. There are some sample questions I have summarized around this uh, uh, concept. First one is how to remove duplicate records in a data frame. For that we can give answer distinct or drop duplicate function. And the next question could be how to remove duplicate records in a data frame only based on certain columns. For this, the answer would be only drop duplicates, not distinct. And the next question could be, what is the difference between drop duplicate and distinct? It's a, st a straightforward question. Again, when you complete this video, you will get the answer for this question. In order to explain uh, the difference between these two functions, I have, create, I have created some visual data. Let's say we are having a data frame with the three columns, ID, name, score, which is having four records. Coming to ID, triple one, David 8. I am having one more duplicate record in the same data frame with same value for all the columns. Triple 1, David 8. And at the same time, I am having another record, Triple 2, Thomas, score is 12. And one more record similar to that, Triple 2, Thomas, 6. But here you can notice you know, there is a difference in the value. Here it is 12, but here it is 6. So whenever we are going to consider the complete list of columns, then we are having duplicate only for this record. Because these uh, two records are identical and it can be considered as a duplicate. But at the same time, these two records cannot be considered as duplicate because it is varying the value in the last column score. This is 12 and this is uh, 6. But in case we are going to consider only these two columns, so let's imagine we are going to consider subset of the column list, which means out of three columns, we are going to consider only two columns ID and name. Then for that case, now we can say this triple one David, triple one David, both are duplicate. Similarly, triple two Thomas, triple two Thomas, even both are duplicate. That is um, what I mean by subset. So distinct basically does not support subset. So whenever I am going to apply distinct on top of this data frame, this is going to be my output. For these two records, triple one David eight and the third record, triple one David eight, I am going to get only one record. And coming to this triple two, and score 12 and another one is triple two score six. I'm going to get them as it is because whenever I'm going to combine with a complete column list, they are unique. That's the reason this will be the output. But uh, coming to drop duplicates, even we can give subset. So let's say, as I told earlier, I'm going to give subset of ID and name. Then what happens is it is going to consider only these uh, two columns subset. Then it will uh, consider triple one that is a uh, uh, duplicate. And uh, similarly for triple two, you know, these two records are duplicate. So it is going to return only one record. But um, it will, uh, in the result, it is going to give all the columns. It is not going to eliminate any column, even though we are giving subset of ID and name. And uh, uh, coming to these two values, while eliminating this triple two Thomas 12 and triple two Thomas six, it will randomly pick one data. Here it could be either 12 or six. So whenever we are having multiple partitions and data is distributed across multiple um, you know, partitions, it will pick one value randomly. So in this case, I have given 12. So this is the uh, main difference between distinct and drop duplicates. So let me summarize what is drop. Drop that is used mainly to get uniqueness of complete row. So no parameter uh, needed. So we cannot um, uh, uh, remove uh, duplicates based on a subset. Still, there is a workaround uh, to consider the subset, but that is uh, coming with some shortcomings as well. Coming to drop duplicates, this is uh, similar to distinct uh, functionality by default. So whenever we are not giving any uh, parameter, then it will act as a distinct. It will uh, identify the uniqueness of a complete row by default. But apart from that, this is also sub uh, supporting subset elimination, which means we can give a subset of columns, then duplication, uh, duplicate records can be identified only within that subset of columns. Coming to syntax, it's a uh, drop duplicates. And within that, we have to give a subset. Apart from that, 
there is one more syntax that is drop underscore duplicate that uh, that also i will show in the demo i hope you understood the difference between distinct and drop duplicates let's get started to understand um, through hands on i have logged into my databricks environment and cluster is up and running the first step that i am going to perform is i am going to create sample data frame for this demo so in this cell i am uh, creating sample data frame let me execute it is going to create three columns id name score and within that it is going to have four uh, records and uh, for james triple one james it's going to be identical records for all the columns so whenever we are uh, considering the complete row it is duplicated but coming to triple two mike it is not duplicate when we are going to consider the complete um, uh, row because the last value score there is a difference this is the data nature now for this data i have to apply distinct and drop duplicate so let me um, move to the next step the next step i am going to use distinct so we can see the output as i explained in the slide it is going to eliminate one duplicate for only for id triple one because it is identical uh, considering all the columns so let me execute here we can see the output only for triple one one record is eliminated but coming to triple two it is not eliminated because it is not a duplicate but still there are some scenarios where we have to remove even uh, considering the duplicate only for you know id and name that we can achieve using drop duplicates i will explain and in case we have to remove duplicate um, uh, even for id and name using distinct then i uh, already told in the slide there is some workaround but that is coming with some shortcoming that i am going to explain in the next cell in the next cell in case we have to use a distinct only for subset of the column then what we have to do is using select statement we have to select only those columns so in this example i have to uh, remove the duplicate for subset of id and name so i am selecting those two columns then it means in the output this rec this column will be eliminated now we are having this data frame then within this data frame whenever we are going to apply distinct then it is going to even eliminate this triple two well, only one of the record will come but uh, in the end result we are not going to keep a score as a third column that is a shortcoming with distinct so in distinct if you have to apply uh, subset then we have to lose some columns we have to compromise some column in the end result so that is not suitable in all the use cases if that is fine with your requirement then you, even you can go with this workaround so let me execute this step as i explained this is giving the output of only triple one because it uh, uh, it was present two times in our source data similarly triple two mic that was also present two times so that's the reason now it is eliminated and we are getting distinct record of triple one james and triple two mic but at the same time we could not see the third column score so this is how um, we can remove duplicate using distinct moving to the next one drop duplicates as i told um, uh, in the slide moving to the next one drop duplicates as i told in the slide there are two different syntaxes one is drop duplicates another one is drop underscore duplicates coming to this uh, d this is upper case here it is lower case this is the difference in uh, syntax right now within this drop duplicates we have to give subset but i am not going to give subset it means it is going to act as distinct it is going to remove the duplicate by considering all the columns in the data frame let me execute here we are getting the same output that we we got for distinct even distinct and drop duplicates both are same when we are not giving any input parameter right now let us assume you know for the same requirement i have to remove even a triple two mic because uh, it is a duplicate when i am going to consider only id and name but at the same time i don't want to uh, remove the score column even i want that output also then what i can do i can go with subset so within this drop duplicate i have to give the subset column for example here i'm going to give id and name which means it is going to eliminate one of the record you know out of these because for duplicate identification it is going to consider only these two column but at the same time the, the third column score will be retained but we are having two records out of these two sorry we are having two values out of these two values only one value will be retained so let me execute so we can see the output right so this is um, 
giving output of only triple one James and triple two Mike, only one record. But at the same time, for uh, triple two Mike, you know there are two different values, five and twelve. But it has uh, taken randomly one value that is five. But there are situations, you know, where uh, we have to uh, remove, you know, the records. But at the same time, you know, these value, which value we need to retain, we have to retain five or twelve. For that, uh, in case you know there is a, a logic needed in your requirement, then we can go with window function. I will explain that concept later in some other video. But I hope you understood the concept of uh, distinct and uh, drop duplicate. Uh, this is you know one of the important concept in a data validation in any project. Because as part of data validation, you know we used to handle null values, uh, date format, or uh, removing duplicates. Now, these are you know part of sanity checks in any data validation. and uh, this plays important role for data quality check and uh, distinct and drop duplicate functions are used for uh, removing duplicate and there is a difference between these two functions distinct and drop duplicate i hope you understood the difference between these two also this is one of the popular interview question so in case you encounter uh, the same question in your interview then you can um, answer uh, based on the understanding of this video hope you enjoyed this video If you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel also please subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell button to get the latest um, uh, uh, updates and uh, tips on databricks development thank you